All right, so the crypto market is exploding in value. We're seeing Bitcoin hit all-time record highs, all coins starting to rally, and shorts are just getting liquidated. And if we're looking at the overall market, there's a lot of different interesting sectors. One that has really interested me over the last few months is data, because data is a $3 trillion market, and it's mostly inaccessible and unstructured. Iris is a project that I've been following for quite a while over on X. They have over 270,000 followers, and they enable the discovery and monetization of value in the data sector. This is something that's very cool because Iris's alpha testnet has been live since about January and many of the biggest names in crypto have been following them and talking about this project. If we're looking at data in general, we can see a few really interesting things. So first is that uh, AWS is currently valued around $1.5 trillion. They have around 100 to $115 billion a year in revenue and demand for structured and high quality uh, like like data is rapidly increasing. It's projected to reach $17 billion by 2032. So if we're looking at the demand and what's going on with IP, like IP urgently requires clear attribution and monetization solutions for AI generated content. And so what we're seeing now is that in the data sector, there's been this massive increase, especially with the rise of AI and just with decentralization in general. And that's really where Iris comes into play. Iris, they solve a lot of inefficiencies that we currently see in the data sector. Every inefficiency costs time and money. And today developers wrestle with just disjointed systems piecing together fragmented storage solutions just to get their applications running. This is something that is draining resources, costs more money, and like this is something that is so, so important because data is massive and it's getting very expensive for people and companies to use. If we're looking at it, AI models right now depend highly on quality data. We see all these AI chatbots and models, and they're going to require more and more data over time, data that's high quality. And today, the best data sets are largely inaccessible. They're controlled by a few centralized platforms, and that's really where Iris is coming into play. 95% of AI training data is owned by the five biggest tech giants, which limits innovation. And Ethereum rollups today are spending millions and millions of dollars on short-term storage, like in the blob space and are already running out of capacity. So this is becoming a problem. In addition to this, we can see that data on Iris is really something that is unique. I'll put a link to their documents down below, but data on Iris is verifiable. It's instantly accessible and with programmable data, a protocol could incentivize the curation of high quality data sets with automated payments. And so we can see all of that right here. If we're looking at some of the competitors and like some of the limitations for existing structures, like I said, the a lot of companies in the centralized space are just not efficient at all. It makes it not accessible. Like data is just highly, highly uh, competitive. And all these centralized companies really try to prevent other people from using the data. So in the crypto space, though, there still are, li still are limitations with companies in the data sector. For example, if we look at Filecoin, Filecoin has slow retrieval, temporary storage, and their VM has no access to data stored on the network. It's a big problem for Arweave. Arweave is very expensive and has volatile pricing, and it's unver unverifiable and centralized. So they make it like they're this whole you know crypto project, which people think are decentralized. They even have decentralized on their first page, but its data is centralized. Ethereum blob space. This is temporary data storage, like only 18 days nearing full capacity. Rollups must bid competitively and it drives up costs significantly. And if we look at Walrus, which is another one, they're essentially just an application built on top of C, which is very weak in terms of security guarantees. It's really expensive. It has high friction uh, like for uh, programmability. And it's a very manual process with just a, a lot of limitations. So if we're looking at with all these data solutions right now in the crypto space, all these projects were built for past requirements, ultimately meaning that their old tech and Iris is the very first project that at least I have seen and I've been following on X. They're the first project that um, is blockchain explicitly optimized for storage and execution in one integrated network built specifically for future demands. If we're looking at Iris, you can see how they talk all about this on their X, but Iris 
is a project that is disrupting this multi-trillion dollar data sector. And if we look at their website, we can see some things that really stand out from Iris versus the competitors like I spoke about. So at its core, Iris integrates a multi-ledger architecture that optimizes how data transitions from temporary validation to permanent storage. And the system is designed to balance efficiency, reliability, cost effectiveness, and it really lays the groundwork for advanced applications that need programmable data. If we look at their website, you can see how Iris has instant low cost data retrieval with unlimited storage capacity. This unlocks an entirely new uh, like system for on-chain applications. In addition to this, they have stable, predictable pricing. For stable and predictable pricing, that's something that is very, very important as well because with it, it's not something that you really see in the Web 2 or Web 3 space. A lot of these have competitive pricing, so as there's more competition, prices go up. Iris has stable pricing. If you combine, uh, if you look at Iris, it also combines data storage and smart contract execution natively, which is something that is very, very important because this allows projects to easily integrate with each other and share data. And the other really big value proposition that I've seen with Iris is that with Iris, Ultimately, developers embed automated instructions directly into data for tasks like payments, licensing, and contract triggers, uh, and smart contract triggers. And this is because they're able to, you know, combine data with smart contract execution natively. It makes it much, much more simple and streamlined to go about actually doing this. So, if we're looking at the data sector, it's a three trillion dollar opportunity. Right now, data is mostly inaccessible, like I said, and it's very expensive, and it's getting more expensive as AI continues to grow more and more. So with Iris, it's doing something just very different in the space because like Ethereum's data storage right now is so expensive. Um, at one point, storing like 500 KB costs like $20,000 in gas fees. It's just not scalable. So Iris is making it more scalable. Their test net, their alpha test net has been live for about six months and you can, it says start building on Iris. You could see that recently they had this article come out, which is called Brick Road. And if we look at it, it says introducing Brick Road institutional data volume on Iris. And it was the first transparent data marketplace built natively on Iris, incubated by the Iris team with one goal in mind to turn one of the data economy's biggest friction points into institutional volume for our uh, their network. And so you can read all about that here. Ultimately, if you're bullish on data and you think AI is going to continue to grow, like all these things are connected. If AI grows, we're going to see a bigger need for data. So if you think AI is going to be something that's going to continue to grow, if you think data is a big opportunity, I would be following Iris because they are a project that is doing really big things in the crypto space. And they're going to be revolutionizing data, not just in the Web3 space, but I think for the entire tech industry as a whole.